Hi, in this video I'm going to be testing a joystick that's made as a replacement controller for an ESE. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. This is what the item looks like after I've unpackaged it. It came in the typical Chinese electronics type of bag, which I guess is Mylar or something like that. And there's really no documentation. There was nothing in the box other than this. And what's listed on the web page, which says it's a wire remote controller, a joystick. It's waterproof for boats, paddle boards, something like that. So not a whole lot of information, but what I did see when I was looking at it, it's got the three pin connector here, the female, so that will match up with the male connector coming out of the ESC. And then it started out, it must have been something pretty beefy, because this looks like it's 20 gauge wire, and then they went ahead and spliced it into the connector. Now for this, I have to admit, they're right. This is a beefy metal handheld controller. And you can see it's single axis and just like that. And I even tried removing these four screws here and the several down here trying to get into it to see what it was all about. But when they say it's waterproof, it is sealed tight. So I didn't want to break this just to find out what was inside. So what I'm guessing is that there's a servo control board inside there so this should just be able to hook up to my ESC and run it right away and that's probably why it's a little bit more expensive than the other stuff so the only thing to do now is go ahead and test it I just wanted to give a quick view of the inside of the head of this Newport Vessels 36 pound thrust trolling motor that I modified for the 880 ESC so you can see what I got in there And then this is the connector I'm going to be using right here. Okay, I have everything set up in my water tank. Here's my DC amp meter and my connection to the controller. Let's we'll see what kind of readings we get. Okay, I'm just getting about 18 in this direction. Let's go in the opposite direction. Just about 21 amps. Now I'll be able to check this with other tests I've done on this motor to see how many amps it should pull. Okay, now I'm going to run it with the standard stock servo tester that we use in a lot of these things. And I've got my ammeter hooked up, so let's see what it's going to do. I'm reading the max there at about 21, 22. The other direction. Just about 20 amps. So both these servos are pulling about the same amount of amps on this motor. I've completed the testing using both the stock servo tester and the joystick servo tester and came up with the same approximate values in both directions of the amp draw of the 36 pound thrust Newport Vessels trolling motor. Now these values were below what I expected to see for that motor but because they were consistent between these two different servo testers I came to the conclusion that there's something wrong with my test, maybe with my bucket or some kind of setup, 
So I would say that this joystick servo tester works as it should. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.